for being here. Hola, buenas tardes, Rutercon. Eh, por fin estamos aquí. Afternoon, Rutercon. Oh, happy to be here. We we really wanted to share our job and our studies with you done over the last months. The organization have introduced us to you. So, what can I was, what can I say? Juan Vasquez is a computer engineer currently working as an expert developer, and myself, Julian uh, Villas, I'm a UPC computer engineer and a master in information technology securities. And uh, we have been known each other for the last uh, years. We have been working in a ten security company, and uh, we uh, t t uh, we thought, why don't you create something between us, uh, researchers? One, uh, let's uh, this um, wait until we live eight thousand kilometers away from the other. That's the uh, original motivation for this talk. Um, Juan now is living in. Austin, Texas, and I'm based in Barcelona. That's the point. That's these um, smart things. So basically speaking, uh, we thought about what our research could be done, and Scala, SCADA uh, was the, 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 the main proposal. Uh, why is SCADA? Because uh, previously we had been working, when we were in the consulting years, we uh, work uh, with uh, SCADA-related issues, and uh, we think that SCADA is a very interesting one. There has been a lot of talking about SCADA in critical infrastructures, and um, we wanted to give our viewpoint. For this purpose, we have taken a product, a big product, from SCADA, and we have analyzed it for us to see if the topics uh, made before about the general security in SCADA, uh, SCADA protocols. How can you replicate a, a big product well distributed all over the world? Basically speaking, this is what I am going to tell you during this presentation. The very first step uh, steps followed, and the successful results uh, um, attaining in one of them. We have chosen the product Sentun CS3000 from a Japanese company by the name of Joko Ogawa. I don't know if, if you know it because in the industrial world everybody knows this. It's a Hollywood director competitor. It's a, a distributed control system aimed at controlling automatically plants, refineries, and uh, energy power companies, petrochemicals companies, and so on. Es muy grandes que vosotros en la web podéis entrar y lo tenéis desgranado incluso los clientes por sector. Pero bueno. I find very important clients and customers uh, broken down uh, regarding their categories and the list. This is the selected uh, product. Why this and not another? There you go. The SCADA, SCADA topic, and we are still seeing SCADA is, is very difficult to access to their software. These big uh, products, if you start uh, looking through them on the internet, there aren't many, 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 many things about that. You can go to a website and up, uh, download from a trial and to access the product. It's not like Firefox, where you had old versions uh, and latest versions. You have everything to, to be downloaded and installed your documentation. So this product, uh, we got it. To the, uh, we got a, a slightly old version. We knew that. Um uh, besides seeing and this deployed environments, let's see. Let's start by, by here. Want to start the investigation, the research? Uh, we accessed uh, um, um, a latest, a latest version from SCADA. Now let's move on to basic elements of the products for you to understand the rest of the presentation. Now, basic elements of the product. This Centrum product is a distributed control system. It has these features. The field elements are the fundamental part, the, the more industrial part, which, activa which activates sensors, valves, the industrial components of the solution. 
on the other side, we can find the operating monitoring, monitoring stations. These are the typical images where you, we can see many people surrounded by screens with charts where they show the status of the process. You can monitor this process and control it. You can say, okay, I want this valve to be open, I want this um, temperature to be increased, and so on. Is the, 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 the glue, uh, the controllers are the glue in between. Glue, these uh, controllers make uh, the automatization of uh, consulting, checking, fill elements, and to give it to the controllers and the, the operations managers. Is that's the, the good explanations probably, but in them, in in the in their project, because every pro product has its own nomenclature, the, the controller, there is the station control thing, engineering is called the GIS and the field elements. When you see GIS, where the operator starts seeing the circuits and touch uh, and put on the, the valves. This is uh, the typical network architecture where the field elements are interconnected directly against the controllers with the FSAs. These are connected with the uh, operations uh, stations where the people are through a, a proprietary pr protocol network called uh, VNet. At the same time, the um, operation stations are connected through the Ethernet network. If you want to see how to apply the connection with other networks, generally speaking, it's done uh, th through the Ethernet network. So, I have, I have explained the basic to you and uh, let's think about of what you have based upon uh, based upon what you did this research we are humble peasants we don't have too much money we don't have a controller all over our places at other houses because it's super expensive that's why there is not too much profound and deep research about this kind of scale elements that's why we have this software. We have software, uh, basic software, which is uh, a huge number of uh, binary documents, libraries, and documents installed on the B PC, and gives us these functionalities and functions. It gives, it, it allows us to have um, a GIS in our machines and uh, refineries when they have the GIXs, it is the software. You can install it in a normal PC, or they can uh, sell you a very interesting and cool. Um, apparatuses and so some specific hardware to control better the uh, the screens and so on. In this very case, the software allows us to simulate a controller, an FSS. Besides, we can uh, perform all the operations that were previously done between the GCs and the controllers. We can do it and follow it up on it in a simulated way. As one said re regarding the engineering station, the engineering process is to define the projects uh, executed or executable within this machine. The controller has to be programmed itself, and what you operators are seeing on screen has to be construct and has to match somebody happening. It can it can be triggered on its own. It's an engineering process uh, as to deploying the very same elements. So um, it, here we lack the expensive things. We didn't have the nuclear plant, the valves, the F FSAs, which is proprietary hardware. Uh, we we didn't have a um, UBN network, thank God, the, this product has a simulating part that allows us to recreate it. It's important for us to take it into account for next coming results. If Dokawa wants to uh, give us some things, it would be nice for us to have it. Uh, no, donations are always welcome. Un poquito lo primero que me comentaron es que empezamos al principio leyendo un montón de horas de Firstly, we started uh, reading um, many, many, many documentations and documents during a lot of hours. We aren't industrial engineers. We aren't coming from this world. As Juan said, the comparison between this software and the uh, browsers, when you are in front of this software, you have installed it and you have to run it. What can I do with this software? Do you, you don't know how to continue uh, running this software. So we uh, so in this uh, documentation when you try to um, to look over the internet, 
all you don't find too much there there aren't trainees it's a very close world so trainees are done by the same manufacturer upon demand so you call them you try to explain them that you are interested in the in the, the world in their own product but they don't believe you they don't buy it so basically speaking we found a software to start designing uh, Charts. We start. Uh, um, we you start. Isn't, this is not like Photoshop. It's not about just painting. Uh, the very first days before the ed editor with the pirates uh, hats, uh, with the hangout made the th a broth and spill down, which is the print EF. So this doesn't work. This it was crazy all around the place. Bueno, discover we have no idea so we start we continue to read more and more and after much reading we started getting the grasp of it the, the, the basic notions that perhaps some industrial engineer got them from the very very beginning and we are going to tell you at uh, three um, fundamentals regarding this products and demos which are the main uh, concepts about the PSB, SB and MB we're going to give you some examples per se for you to properly understand these have, these have the concepts that rule a normal project what, what are we are going to program logical programmation, we're going to program some circuits which are these controllers and basically speaking the main three concepts with which you are going to program this, uh, this uh, machines are is, is like this. Uh, this is the, the main fundamentals. Basically, basically you have to imagine you have a human being, an operator, you have a temperature sensor, a thermometer, and you have a temperature regulator. When this person, this uh, operator is checking the thermometer, he is getting the PV, the process variable. The temperature is at 7 uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, the PV is 7 degrees Celsius. Oh, is, this is a fucking chill code. So in, in his mind, the temperature at which we should be is 24 degrees Celsius. This is the SB, the set point variable. The set point variable, 20, 20, um, 24. For the degree Celsius, we have to uh, make it equal. The, the current one, seven, two. Uh, uh, so let's uh, let's put um, uh, the manipulated variable of 17 degrees Celsius increase by uh, turning the knob, the uh, regulator, and uh, uh, the temperature will be increased up to 24. Uh, degrees Celsius. So if we take uh, as very cool gigs, we kick off the operator and we put an operator in the stead, the, um, the controller is going to do this in an automatic way. It is going to read the values from this uh, fill uh, element. The thermometer is, is getting P PS, the SB is a defined variable, and based upon it, it's going to sell, to send uh, signals against the regulator to uh, increase the temperature by 17 de degrees Celsius. This is the, the gist. So we wanted to to do this. It took us uh, ages and a great effort. We wanted to create a hello world uh, to to uh, uh, perform. Uh, um, uh, testing, which replicates what I have just said to you, the same scenario. This, this is going to be reading data from an external process uh, field element. It's, it's going to calculate, um, uh, depending on the SB uh, in, indicated and selected, and the PB is taken from this field element, and it's going to applicate an MV against the, the other uh, process entry, which is, uh, of course, uh, uh, the temperature uh, regulator. This is oh, this is the. Uh, this took us a, uh, many many hours to get then, especially because you needed. We needed to do a lot of documentation. And uh, if you confronted these machines in certain environments, if you are not inside this environment, uh, try not to publish a lot. Some about, um, some special brochures and things like this. So what's the point of the operation station here 
uh, it's the, the operation station can uh, consult the uh, operator is following certain charts and graphics they uh, consult and check PV they painted on this um, charts and they can uh, set up um, um, to the, this to the controller so let's see now a video about this um, point I'm to make here we're going to uh, get up the system view which is the program we are using to simulate and here we define the projects in this project we can see the, that there are an FSEs uh, virtually defined and two uh, operations stations 164 and the other one we're going to execute a virtual test and now we are going to run the this virtual controller and a G the G is 163. This usually takes a long time, but we have a, we did a spin up, and now it's, it runs uh, quickly. What you can see up and up there is the the bar, the operator bar. What is the gist? And we can execute many functions from this bar. And more than I can access the alarm panel. Uh, up here, uh, with the, we are scrolling down. It, there would be uh, alarms sent to the operator to indicate uh, how the system works, and uh, those define these function blocks that Juan commented on. Here we can see the reports, and there's open. Are we going to open the hello, hello world, hello world? Yeah. This uh, over here is what the operator can see on the GIS, and it's related to the example we had put forward before. And uh, let's say that's um, a water tank, and uh, or a water tanker. So we can see the PV value. Uh, this show us the water level, and it's, this is the the current water level and numerical values. This is it. This is it. There you go. This is not, this is not for us to show you this uh, example. Can you get it, more or less? Uh, it's, it's a, a very approximate uh, uh, explanation of uh, how this works. This is, does, doesn't, doesn't look familiar. This uh, makes us remember what this guy did. From now on, now that we talk about topics related with the methodology of words we have followed and the results we have uh, acquired. Once we got this, once we got this totally de deployed. Now let, let this, let's discover the software. Let's analyze what um, services uh, execute and what processes are being followed on the red. Let's see the surface of the attack. Important thing: discover the the real attack surface. That's the point. Let's now to run this software and analyze what is going on here. For you to understand uh, all of this, when we install this software and you um, um, uh, run Software Explorer, you can see the, the current process has been executed and the connection networks open for these processes. You can see that it's a minimum amount. Minimum amount. Uh, once we had spent so many hours reading documentation and uh, we were capable of performing this engineering process, uh, how many processes done with this demo project. If you notice, it's been increased exponentially with many other processes. And these are the network connections. We can see many more communications. And if we can, if we want to find vulnerabilities, we need to know what the main points to be attacked. It would be a deployed edges. That's why it's that important for us in the software. Uh, the software is is more or less um, very splitted and many companies are re recovered and uh, they are applied to another executables. So they change only the name. It's very important for us to be able to deploy a project, a whole, a f a whole project like this. So it's in those moments when you see the magnitude of the story you are confronting. Is different from attacking a other different software. So there you go. It's important for you to um, see the vulnerabilities we had found, and the very first ones were when we performed the installation of this product. We discovered that by default, a Windows sent to user was created. 
and uh, when we uh, check the documentation we saw that this references of the usage has to be always presented in all the uses otherwise it wouldn't be uh, working properly so uh, how when it comes down to transmitting the processes between the same G's, you need to create this Microsoft user. You can, this password is supposed to be changed, but it's not, uh, but it's, it's not, uh, it's not doing like this. Uh, sometimes, Samtum, Samtum password is the right one. Segmentation of privileges, um, uh, that the uh, documentation this product talks about. Another very important thing is that uh, the the f full C CS three thousand everything is included. Excel's libraries, configuration uh, files, all the database, everything is inside, and this is a share folder. In such a way that they have um, modification and reading permissions for the group of users uh, AB1, not not authenticated users, but everyone uh, is is permitted to do so. So how can you fortify this? So you get the documentation and you said to yourself, what is it? They are recommending to you that Windows. Uh, 2003, the permission by default is read-only. It has to have the, the total control for everyone. So it's a bit, it's a bit painful. It's not the only one thing. They also tell you the the uh, securities increase improvements from Windows XP service pack DAG. Have you heard properly? Yes. So. No, no, no. Disable this, this firework and change the the the, the, the con configuration and some con um, local policy configuration. And this is not to make it more robust. And, and it's not the only thing we can. Uh, we, there are also snippets from the documentation. We are uh, spacing on it. All these options should be uh, detached, uh, firewalls, uh, antivirus, automated updates. Um, uh, we are well preparing, well secure. This has this this mainly applies to the G's in a typical Windows PC. So we can you can also check the software if you remember well this version comes from 2007 and you can also find all binaries uh, compilations uh, files so they are reusing as many files as, uh, as possible it is an architecture divided in many executables they try to uh, recover and reuse um, um, new old components and they for a new release they only compile the new, three or two which are really, really ones and news. So um, uh, we we talk about viruses, firewall uh, disable. Uh, in a real network, you see how vulnerable you are. How you can log in with a, uh, a null session. You can see the sure border to change binaries and and services are set up from this folder. Some services are executed as systems. So at this very moment in point, the system will be very very broken. So we want to check it out more properly. We want to revise in a better way, and we have continued. So let's now talk about the vulnerabilities and design. Me lo pongo aquí, que no rompa nada. Vale, a nivel de diseño. Bueno, aquí básicamente... Regarding the science, it's very important for us to, to, to know that many things said about uh, typical SCADA protocols to pick with PDCs and standard things in the industry. And um, we insisted uh, the proprietary protocols of these uh, uh, machines when you had a lot of uh, distributed uh, communications to communicate communicate with the FSAs how the status is after after this uh, this process is well done we discovered that reality is not very different the the biggest topic is there is is a lack is a lack of um, authentication there are um, protocols in a row with no authentication at all. Sometimes their codification or their encoding is binary, but sometimes other, um, we can find NASCI protocols, so it's relatively simple. So a valid example I, I will give you a protocol which synchronizes the database between the different and various GIS. You may remember Ugo's uh, this morning 
talk will we were very identified with the processes when uh, th th there wasn't security at all among uh, the communications between the, the aviation systems here industrial systems and security are, are don't get along very well so I will exemplify with this uh, little protocol to synchronize the database equalize database in this protocol it, it copies an FTP it has some interesting things, but it's are the typical FTP commands without authentication. I mean, you are connected directly to the service, and you start running commands, uh, control channel, uh, data channel, and uh, and the data channel where uh, data are in. That's it. Period. Basically speaking, if you If you have um, clear how this protocol works, you can have an um, expert model as it is an auxiliary uh, module, but it's very easy. It's very it's cool. You can say that the, the T seconds you are going to, to go, and basically three actions. First, uh, primo this instructions allows you uh, allows that this w to say whether the, the path uh, the database is, and all these machines are over here, and they tell you, okay, you can I can do a retrieval, and I can apply the password database from my project by default. I mean, asking you uh, read from the system pass password of the iPad, you know, because you. Did previously the link and they told you where the, the database is. They will give you a file where all the hashes M5 of the project are located because the solution tries to segmentate the privileges and uh, the look and they look for engineers and uh, users for the one who has read who is reading the valves you know, will not be able uh, to reprogram in them. And you can see in this directory the different users. They are not in, at the background. You have to crack the hashes. In reality, these vulnerabilities, I do think, are really, really cool when you have to confront an, a real attack uh, environment against these uh, machines. Because you are using their very same protocols to access and obtain interesting information. You also, also have writing. So you can also hack the database. And you also can do a lot of silliness, uh, but, but the, 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 gist, the, the main thing is to understand how the, the process works. The, more, the most correctable vulnerabilities are as follows, and the most difficult ones are the ones we have seen. I refer to these the designed vulnerabilities, because general protocols don't implement measures, change all the protocols uh, for everything to continue working the same way. You can uh, take, the, the, you take the product, you wrap it out, you kick it out, and you start from scratch chulas para mí, ¿eh? pero a nivel de implementación, ¿vale? pues también tienes cosas. Es one of the coolest ones, but on an implementation level, you have to ex execute things rather than just when attacking a real FS, FS, FSF, uh, we didn't, didn't have it to, to touch the simulator. Uh, a real in, an, in a real environment, it wouldn't apply. Okay, uh, you, uh, overflow constantly appears. And all, all the bulls, disclosure, responsible risk disclosure is being done with people for Rapid7. And it takes us uh, effort because in our company are slightly as low. And we want to, to promote you and encourage you with a more political power for the, the manufacturer to, to pay you more attention. And this is easier because you can contact the text. Rapid7 enters um, from Japanese and from other manufacturers. And this can solve everything. Disclosure experience is being okay according with uh, CERT. If for being people from Escada, they're very happy and are in a good mood. And the response is being slightly slow. Um, we had been censored some bulls just before camp. I mean, but we'll be doing disclosure uh, from all the materials, RSCs, and all the modules uh, will be published from this coming Monday. Basically speaking, for you to know the overflow vulnerabilities in this kind of services had been found. I put a name to the FASI. The FASI has been named this way. Semi guided down FASI. This is our FASI. How, how much do you like invent things?
it's a, it's a, the, this is the story. The idea is you have some protocols which are uh, e easy to follow once the, the, the product is working. You take the protocols and you have a basic understanding of what's going on here. You take what's up with the real traffic or you do a, a little reversing uh, for you to know where the data is coming uh, is coming, and follow the dispatching of packages and you start uh, from following the package that, okay, that is scripted with the, the processes. Oh, this is a bit uh, tawdry at some sense. We ask for the asking chains and we change them for, a, for a many, many bees uh, uh, very small databases we had it at the moment and from then on we started seeing crashes type of vulnerabilities for you to make an idea is in a log server rusting with system in all the, the, the blocks it would logs uh, taken and store all the, the the Windows system, which is uh, slightly bad, and overflow th by an error copy, which is sometimes um, uh, screwed up. This log service is in a uh, port BP and is logging everything you are s sending through this port. Uh, many more things regarding the, 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 the batch management process, you can see the service to move data from one to the other. It has to be used in the user data. The packages divine in lines. In the parsing of lines, it's a bit messy in the loop, and is um, it bursts out the stash. So uh, we have a, a equalized database service in the instruction on the command, constructing the instruction from codecs and the arguments. You'll find uh, the um, VC print and it's a kind of this way. When you start seeing it, it's like you. I will need at least a stack analysis of a code before proceeding. If you have a statics analysis uh, vulnerability version and S print F, it would be fine. It's, it's very basic. By having these vulnerabilities, uh, the next issue is okay. So I would like I would find it vulnerabilities from installation and um, protocol ins installation and designing. These vulnerabilities also can be exploited, and uh, it's uh, it's a th easy thing because at at uh, uh, operating system level. Windows 2000, 2003 are the ones last, so there is an uh, important lack uh, regarding of protect, pr protecting this operating system. At the binary level, there is a lack of compilation time protection, stack, cookies, uh, is a lack of uh, linking time protect protections. When we did the exploit, uh, doing the exploit, as you, as you can say, uh, win on shelf is uh, quite easy. The, the, the most interesting things of its exploits and the funniest one, as you can see on screen, we are going to free and release all the details and um, we are doing this process in a very responsible way. We deploy the, the express for the service of um, transfer of databases. Basically speaking, you take the control, you uh, use the console and take the express out, and we are going to execute it in very, very cool uh, scenarios with meta platter in these environments. You tell them the host word with which you are going to run this, this issue, and it exploits, and we uh, get it run. We uh, got it recorded on video for this uh, meeting. Uh, it's okay. We have sent on privileges, and many of these processes run with this sent on user. We have seen in the installation that the fucking thing about the whole thing is now we are screwing up the whole the process. The process now is live. We have a very start. We have the session currently working. But okay, the process um, screwed up. That's the process. That's the, the bad thing about exploiting vulnerabilities within these environments. If you screwed up, the process is not cool at all because you can screw up something important in an industrial process, and this is not cool at all. So the the the, the nastiest thing about the exploit is to continue the execution of the story you have uh, pasted for the exploit to uh, to use it in uh, in a real test of this um, uh, machine. Uh, you see that the process is screwed up when you did this. Let me do this. Uh, my 
gosh, it's working quicker, quicker than me. I can't stand it. It's screwed out when you are left the process and when you we have uh, t take out a pile load, uh, do an exit food a process uh, when the the process is finished, and this makes uh, screwed up the, 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 the this process. Se puede evitar en este caso de una manera muy sencilla porque el proceso en realidad es multi. This can this can be avoided because uh, it's a multi-threaded process when uh, it, it, when it, uh, it turns out that the, the the pilot you can tell okay let's get the thread out and a new thread will get connected to new connections and everything is keeping alive. This is super cool. Once again, once again we have a method pattern. And um, let's make a PS to see what a phase of the process we are. And um, let's move on. Now we did an exit. By changing the exit by a process, we can see uh, the living process, even though we leave the, the session, it's not falling, it's not falling, it's not falling. We do a connect to the service. Let's see if we can interact with the service for the service to keep it alive. It's not dead. Otherwise, exploitation in this uh, environment makes no sense. If you exploit the, the, the machine and then it falls, it collapses, it's not like the explorer that can be reinitialized. No. This is the funniest thing, and the fun thing about uh, for the process to be continually executed. This is very easy. That's it. In reality, we got everything done. Everything is ready. We we have shells. We had several mechanisms to get access to this. And uh, what now? Now we are in. Uh, what can we do with all these uh, these uh, big amount of machines and uh, junk? Uh, if you don't know how to work, they'll give you a shell, and you said, "Okay, I will touch him buttons and buttons and buttons." What, what is moving on here? It's not cool at all. Now let's explain this to you. Let's uh, what can we do with a pilot in in certain Windows environments? I want to give you uh, uh, references. This guy from Cologne is an Aussie uh, working exclusively in Matter Petter uh, to improve something of a payload. He has done the coolest things. Uh, please fo follow him on, in on Twitter and I read his last uh, tweet on it during the last three years. One thing, one cool thing, it gives support to um, uh, Peter to support the, the Windows where you are working with your sessions. This is a cool. This allows you to do many things. If you want to enum enumerate um, Windows, you can do Railgun. Railguns is the method project extension to speak with the libraries where the process is loaded. This gives you a lot of job to to do when the, you have multiple loads, multi uh, scale things. If you can capture all the short circuitry, the circuits, all the alarms, it's very interesting. We have done a little module which will capture the, the screens from a process. It takes the, the windows, it put them on the front, it maximizes the, 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 put the screen shoot, and this is cool. If the operator is not in front of it, the operator will see the uh, windows dancing around and dancing around. We wanted to uh, cre recreate a post-exploitation scenario that will be very useful for what we are going to explain later on. This will be super cool for you to get a data from a real process. If you want to know a real engineering process, you want to attack, it's important for you to know how to do uh, uh, what you do, that can do. Okay, let's touch down. You have to do it this way. Uh, now another topic with this technique, you can read very interesting data. It would be uh, very, very cool to move valves. For, for us to, do, to move valves, if you, should you uh, see a quiche, um, he, when he's uh, when you are talking about sh um, protocols, you can do other stories. It would be if you have a session like his, uh, you'll be able to access real communications, and you don't have to make out uh, what values are, what parameters are being touched by the term uh, 
project you make Trojan a real project you make Trojan you are in the middle of the communication you touch what is interesting for you it's very simple to for you to go the process which is talking with the CSS uh, and make uh, the whole communication Trojan here is very easy because our simulator this is will work it the same way on the internet because we will have a UV need and a real big uh, machines we have a simulator on a Windows environment communicating with TCP, even though there is uh, simulations of uh, TCP IAP. You inject it, how can you do it? Uh, how can you uh, do that, this from Metal Petter? You access uh, a process, you can hack it in many, many ways. You can introduce tools, and you have, how can I do a Metal Petter? Uh, the, the coolest way for us is to use the uh, injection and so on. With this uh, invention from Stephen Thewer in 2007. Uh, it took, uh, he took a library which implemented the load of P, and you can load it on the pros. You can change the load loader, and, and it, it, it is cool because at forensics level it means that you don't see that these libraries are um, loaded on the process. It's a cool thing, very cool thing. Method pattern is a receptive from DLL uh, loaded in memory. Uh, and there you go. Uh, local exploits are used this way and uh, there is an next stage that allows you to instead of met meter Peter uh, you can get another reflect from uh, DLL and rather post exploitation you have a session to, to load it your own things basically speaking is this is what we did another uh, interesting thing about this method you don't modify the IIT and uh, at the forensics level it keeps it more difficult so it's more difficult because the, it assesses the IIT and you have introduced a new IAT with new functions. New two more things for you to see. Let's see it in action right now. First video is about capturing uh, the, the windows, the alarm windows between the backup panel and uh, we can take uh, any other else. These windows are done by a uh, uh, panel from uh, his. Let's take another session for having a meter pita. And um, let's take the exploit. Uh, be careful with this, because we have exploited the, this service. Let's uh, load a X Shati and see where these windows are. Let's um, enumerate the, the windows. Uh, there are very few of them. And it's running with a different desktop. And to prevent these kind of things. In the segmentation of privileges with Centum, let's migrate to a backup panel, which is a desktop application from Centum. No much travel from here. We enumerate uh, the, the windows. And um, now we'll see all the windows, all, all the windows from the his the, the his desktop. These are the these are the alarm windows. Let's see the process of each uh, window. So we can do a PS, and let's see what the backup panels are, and let's put the whole system in the background. And now we move to look for this post exploitation module, which is a generic module. And this module is not still in the frame, but it will be. We put it is basically to do the screen shooting in Windows. We tell them to what kind of session has to be done, and evidently the Windows ha has to be accessible. Let's see. Once we have it, it enumerates the Windows and does the screen shooting under the hood behind the scenes. And uh, these are the screen shootings restored and kept from the Windows. The Windows are maximized uh, after screen shooting and then are back to fit in position with the metric exploits in the very end you have this the maximized screen shooting these windows uh, are from the alarm area they are cool because they have parameters this uh, SLV has been collapsed and contains sensitive information regarding the diagrams in engineering station Vamos a continuar con, con la segunda demo nos van a matar pero eh, sí, es muy rápida. <laughs> Now let's move on to the second demo, where we are going to uh, get communications Trojan. In this second scenario, we have two GISs, right? 
second scenario we have two hisses and a simulated controller in this very first his we can find his name and we are going to get up the controller and gonna set up a virtual 163 his not to make it difficult this has to be in this machine the other machine in and here's uh, 164 will have been the the, the get at in his virtual process this is getting up and uh, let's move forward to save the time these are alarms and this is remarkable we are in his 163 we can see the system status and we can see that 164 he is not available yet let's move on to 164 here so let's get it up and i'm gonna move forward until let's get up totally and here is um totally accelerated in our virtual machine it takes longer longer and longer oh my gosh i'm got to slip in between in the in his house we have a very cool laptop because they, they have more computing uh, accessories and we but they have in in my laptop oh body uh, it, I fall I fell asleep now it's totally uh, up and um, we can see in the previous uh, in the previous diagram and the 164 G his is like this now for you, for me to sh I want to show you with the, what, the, what I show you previously in the previous uh, his is are taking their own data from the same controller and uh, we have the, um, the very same example I saw you before His uh, one, 163 is now open. Let's move on to uh, his 164. Let's move forward a little bit. Let's leave it this way. A sec. This is reflective injection for make the whole project um, Trojan, the, their data. This is the, the demo. Uh, we have opened a window, the SV, we have clicked on it where the SV value appears and let's now modify it, something that people at the operation uh, station uh, can do. They can modify SVs, the controller processes, and he will act in consequence by modifying the field elements. In this very case, the SV is at uh, 80, is now reduced to uh, 50. And we'll set later on now. I will compromise his 164 by using one exploit. I'll show you, I'll sort you previously. Let's uh, load the library on and let's execute the exploit. We are listing the process in the system and let's identify the PV of the project where we want to inject the DLL. And um, now, nowadays, nowadays so we load the post exploitation module as Juan commanded. We reset the path, our path from our machine where we have our library to be injected. We have to indicate the met met meter meter session where we want to inject, and we find the, the PV of the, the process. We put it on, and. Uh, now we execute this module and what's going on is that DLL is going to be up this exploited machine is going to be loaded in the indicated process uh, once reaching one reach this point we can see that two hisses are showing the same value he is 164 is, uh, is a Trojan is now a Trojan we're going to change the SV value the value at which it should be this uh, uh, water tanker uh, let's put now uh, 25 and now we can see 25 in, in both and what we're going to do now is to change this value in the Trojan is uh, his. We are going to put that uh, its value is going to be 50. And pay attention, please, because when I put in 50, we see that we see that from 50 has moved to 100. We have Trojanized the communications. When this has changed the SB value, no matter what it's it, it has to be 100. 
we have moved to the next his and we have seen that the, its value was 100. We have modified the controller behavior by 100 and we could have triggered a small um, disaster. We have hacked uh, its readings for you to see that you put 50 but it it turns out to be uh, 100. You can move around 50 and it's filling in, filling in, filling in. Llegados a este punto, pues mm, está claro, ¿no? El sistema está básicamente pounded, ¿no? A diferentes once, once we have uh, arrived to this point, we see the whole system collapsed. So uh, we're talking about, okay, this is our isolated um, network, so it shouldn't be so uh, this dangerous. That's a thought. But we said to ourselves, let's see if we can find some little things in between. Uh, Juan, you, do you want to comment something on it? Uh, no, no, uh, you don't. Let's bear in mind that uh, there's something from the past when we checked the documentation, we identified what with Hugo said with some charts and graphics where PDF, uh, PDF A's appears, uh, access points, uh, referencing some uh, control connections, remote operations, earthquakes in between. So, time, time, time. We are running out of time now. So, uh, let's just try to find something. Do you want to speak about scan all the things break? We wanted to check all the repercussions uh, in the world of this uh, machine because it was a, f a fun thing. Documentation talk about remote access. Let's look for the company's uh, gateways via web by uh, showing the web uh, entries. The, the, the cool thing, the nice thing would see to scan the, the whole internet and to see if the there are in engineering products mapped onto the internet with VPNs, with uh, web gateways. I don't want to see a super cool screen. I want to see those protocols we had broken and load it directly. As Bigo Mortensen says, with a pair of, a pair of uh, testicles. So, two balls we need for that, as Bigo Mortensen said. The, he has, the, the project scan all the things, big data, scan it, internet, the whole internet scan to get through interesting data and to fortify internet, to look for vulnerabilities internet which are exploited in the wild and um, let's sort them out as soon as possible. This is the story. Taximar people uh, gave us a hand, and uh, if you can get the, the tip, uh, you'll see this on the Katasi uh, exhibition room. Um, okay, let's do some art and conversion regarding it. We'll go to them. Mar, you're a nice fellow. We we got all this list of services. Oh, my, oh, oh fucking bastard. What, 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 what do you want to do? We would like to scan the whole internet. We can't do this with VTP service. Uh, TCP services, I have some of them. But what do you want to do? You want me, my company, shut down? No. We have some vulnerabilities. We have some vulnerabilities. Let's just scan as uh, certain ports uh, which are vulnerable and let's see later on if we can find which of them are really vulnerable from then on the the thing uh, went forward and um, some problems in between there are some lawyers and legal issues they are scanning um, web servers Juan go back to Barcelona fucking bastard you are, you are not you don't fit in in Texas Y básicamente, vale, muy muy rápido, va. Básicamente cogimos dos servicios, dos. I think we got two services because the the tests to for to to validate the vulnerability was very so we scanned the whole internet. We got one million three thousand uh, uh, hits. So, oh my goodness, uh, let's eliminate it. We uh, scan towards high ports. We get false positives. We have 56,000. Let's, um, let's do the prox of vulnerabilities to check how many are, are using and listening to these um, services to make the, the process, since you have a, a, an easy, you can use a uh, meta exploit framework, new functionality, which is that exploits, uh, exploits chips are very used 
this, but even though it's not intended to scam vulnerabilities, but the the this say oh the the, the expert chat is is cooler than my scanning product. No no worries, my friend. So let's m do multi threading against a whole uh, network a host to scan 50, 56,000 machines with the the chips from two vulnerabilities securely acquired, with which allow us to to know if everybody was talking about these protocols and we found two uh, bulky projects totally exposed on the internet, totally exposed engineering process. This is um, a big no-no. Uh, with Mar we'll put our uh, uh, hands up. I, I almost um, shoot it on my diapers. What do I do now? Diapers, we are going to kill me. In a very principle, um, desired results that we wanted to share with you, and uh, we are we are f finalizing with some uh, remarks regarding this experience. Basically, experience. I would like to tell you that what do we get? Okay, we got software, which is a very important thing. And we uh, were able to understand it minimally speaking and to do some deploy with the things um, uh, that uh, with, with we can play around. We dissected the software, we found vulnerabilities at certain levels and at uh, basic configuration of the base system level implementation. And uh, we, uh, we have also seen uh, how this can affect the rest of the world. We can find real cases pullulating over the internet at a uh, problem level. This is it. Regarding problems, uh, it's not commented now on here, but um, something we did in our free, in a lizard time. Uh, but uh, it's something that, like I said, in our, as a hobby, in our free time, because we wanted to do something, uh, join it together. Distance is a problem. We're, we're working uh, uh, eight eight thousand kilometers away. We did some hangouts in the forums. It, it, it wasn't very cool. Resources was also a problem. We didn't have the hardware. We had a product that could sim simulate uh, the whole thing. But having a VNet would be uh, uh, fantastic. Relationships and attorney is uh, these are critical issues. Um, oh, we found this, um, but oh my God, be careful with the legal issues, with the scan the whole internet, because it can um, disclose problems. Uh, and uh, are you going to expose it? Is something at the regional level? Be careful. Watch out. There are so many few of us doing this. We're from Spain. Is it legal or not? So be careful. Hola, Yogogawa. <laughs> Hello, Yogogawa. Seriously speaking, you need to be careful and damn thing within the regulations because these are critical infrastructures. Uh, Practice 7 helps us a lot with this. And that's it. Conclusions. Final conclusions. I would like to say uh, we're talking about the scattered environments, critical environments. We saw uh, what the levels of these securities is. We should be worried about this because over Chagas goes on the same line. We are identified on this same point. We are talking about hypercritical systems considered to be critical infrastructures, but nonetheless, uh, their uh, security levels are at 19 levels as the may, as the mere binaries in the compilations are reflections, just some pinches of. Salt. We are two, two bodies who, in, in, our, in our free time, in, we don't have too much fun, we don't have too much free time to do so without resources, with little time. With them. Uh, what can other people with a lot of resources, criminal organizations, do with a lot of more resources than us? So we need to raise awareness about these uh, issues and get on working. You, if you like to get more information, go on Twitter. I will upload and uh, the more information need, more uh, forums and, and three purposes, and there will be releases of the these issues on the next issues. We will release vulnerabilities, details, uh, 
uh, from this um, Monday on because the disclosure is this kind of um, not at one go there are some things that cannot be released now but from this uh, Monday on you will get the very first release with details express and so on and now before uh, Joko was put on in a jacuzzi they have been very nice in the disclosure process but it's okay thank you very much for your uh, attention and attendance Hola, aquí. Do you have any questions, please? Raise your hands. Over here, there is congratulations for your talk. I'm a fan. I'm your fan. There is a question not clear for me. I need some clarification. There were two vulnerable hosts, but you uh, you uh, launch the, the the spot. So for me, the conversion is incompleted. This has been um, a joking moment. There aren't two systems. There are two projects of engineering. This means that uh, engineering project is not only a system. Controllers, there may be controllers, but you cannot see it on the internet. What we see is the, the HISIS operations uh, center station, as he said uh, them in, in a demo. You can have a project with different controllers, different hardware on a VN uh, network. And uh, here you can find one more system, more than one system. So we found two projects of engineering mapped that were mapped. It. Uh, the complexity of every project, we, we cannot tell it now. So uh, it, it was a joke. What we said on the stage was just a joke. We never collapsed the exploit. We, we thought of it, but of course, it's just, it's just what last a certain thought. I, just, I was just kidding. We didn't really know the idea of what we found, but we didn't consummate this idea because we didn't dare to do so, to, to, to know what was behind the project we um, discovered on our path. We really screwed it up. Uh, any more questions, please? Should I have your... If you can see us around here, we'll be in the corridors uh, at the, the hall. Should you have any questions, you can wait uh, for us outside. No problem for it. Hola, buenas. Muchas eh, enhorabuenas por, por vuestro trabajo. La verdad es que es muy, muy interesante Gracias. ver cómo ir. Congratulations on your jobs and studies. I have a question. Do you have uh, performed uh, very sophisticated attacks? I do think that an organization, a low cost organization in the opposition, how to modify all of this without uh, knowing that the user is, temperature is being increased, but in his has as a vulnerable operating system as a basis. So um, my question is if we collide his, which is a simple this part. I can't, I'm not able to uh, manage the control. The, the controllers, how do they behave? How do they have, do they have any uh, protocol of, of action? I keep living this. I keep doing this. Controllers um, are characterized by the fact that they control the plant. They are, the controllers are thought of to not to have uh, human interaction just behind. So operation stations are for uh, second control to be behind just if something uh, crash out. They have the, the red button uh, control. It's a feasible scenario where uh, uh, when you do an, uh, an update like this, you change values uh, at these points, uh, which make that the operator manually see the, the value which are not real, I'm going to stop the, the, the plan. Uh, a plan stop uh, triggers expensive costs because one stop the plan is difficult and it takes some days to um, run the whole system and it costs a lot of money for companies. This is brutal. Uh, am I responding to your question? I would like to add that we have to bear in mind that when we have compromised the hisses, we have compromised the hisses with express, but we have also said to you there are some vulnerabilities that allow us to modify a project, uh, period. And you can do it through this way. You can access something and you can put a, a 
proper and known user there. One fucking thing about this uh, is, uh, okay, uh, one thing regarding working with simulated uh, environments is it's a bulky, it's a bulky shopware. They can have some prescription. I don't have a signal through the VP, so I'm, um, I've changed valves at these certain val values, so I can use this safeguard program. We couldn't prove it because ours was a simulated uh, environment running on OTCP. So uh, we keep it. We keep it like this. We are looking for. Um, uh, we, we we look through Amazon. We look valves on Amazon, but the FCC cannot be bought. So I will call Joko, Joko Wama. So social engineer. Okay, I shit on my trousers. I'm. Uh, would it be cool to have access uh, hardware to check uh, some scenarios? Probably you have something at a uh, circuitry level. I'm sorry about that. Thank you very, very much.